Hi everyone, I'm Charulata Biswas. Welcome to Political Pulse. Today we will be talking about the Mangluru Blast and uh, with me is Assistant Editor uh, Akram who is reporting from Mangluru on this particular story. Uh, an explosion occurred in an auto rickshaw in Mangluru on Saturday evening, that is 19th of November. To give us more details on the story and what has um, happened till now, uh, Akram, can you please take us through the details? Like on November nineteenth, uh, uh, at around four forty p.m., uh, an explosion occurred in an auto rickshaw, and police had withheld the identity of the suspect who was uh, behind the bomb, behind the blast. And after uh, bringing his relatives, uh, his stepmother, his sister, and an aunt, they have confirmed that it is Sharik. Uh, against whom three cases are, uh, uh, all have already been booked by Karnataka police. Uh, one of the cases was under the provisions of UAPA, uh, and uh, he had absconded after a case that was registered in Mang uh, in, in Shomaga uh, on August 15th. Uh, from uh, August 20th, he was incommunicado, sort of. He had gone to Tamil Nadu, he had gone to Kerala, and he came back to Mysore on September 20th. Uh, he had rented out a room there, and then he had also travelled to Mangalore on November 10th to Reke. Uh, the city before he planned this. Fortunately, the bomb went off uh, before he could place it in a tactical area and cause more injuries. And uh, can you tell us more about the accused, the 24-year-old accused Mohammed Sharik? Um, Mohammed Sharik, he hails from Shomaga district. Uh, he was in Mangalore for a brief period of time and he was involved in this graffiti case where some uh, graffiti was uh, painted on walls which uh, called uh, for, for the support of some terror outfits. Uh, now the police say that his acts were inspired by uh, terror outfits which have a global presence. So that police have mm -hmm. confirmed now. And the police have also uh, taken into custody four people whom the mm -hmm. suspect might have had some role in this case, at least by providing some assistance in terms of finances or uh, accommodation when this guy went uh, from one state to another uh, for a period of a uh, month or two. Okay. Uh, Akram, can you tell us what the police have seized till now? Like after the bomb uh, blast occurred, the police found out that he was staying in Mysore. And uh, so with the help of Mysore police, uh, they recovered about 150 matchboxes. The, the tip of the matchboxes, which are shaved off and used for the explosion, they have found, found phosphorus, uh, they have found some other chemicals, they have found nuts and bolts which he planned to put inside the pressure cooker uh, ahead of the explosion. There were circuit boards and also there was one a toy AK-47 gun, uh, which the police are curious to know why he was using. After, uh, after his arrest, there are also photos viral uh, of the person uh, holding a cooker uh, with the wiring on it uh, to show it's a pressure cooker bomb. Right. So these are the as of now. Okay. All right. Thank you, Akram, for bringing us all those details. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will get you all the details on this story. Uh, stay tuned and like and subscribe for more news updates.